friends welcome to my channel so in today's video lecture we're gonna study about sympatholytic drugs which means antagonist of sympathetic system right alpha blockers and beta blockers this is part one in which we are gonna study about alpha blockers okay ANS was very difficult uh, topic for me while I was preparing for PG I don't remember exactly how many times I have revised this chapter okay so I'm trying my best to make it easy and as sticky as I can. If you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. You can join me on Instagram, Facebook and Telegram where we do daily image based questions which can help you strengthen your concepts and revise the things constantly. So any further ado, let's get started. First, we will study the alpha receptors where they are present and then we will study the classification of alpha blockers, okay? So, these alpha receptors are divided into alpha 1 and alpha 2. So, alpha 1 is uh, present in prostatic urethra, I, and specifically alpha 1b is present on blood vessels. So, how sympathetic uh, system works via this receptor? It causes the vasoconstriction, okay? And in the eye, it has mitriatic action. So, our uh, alpha blockers will be uh, having exactly opposite effect than this, okay? Which means, alpha blockers ka kya action hoga? It will do the vasodilatation and meiosis. So, this is the basic concept which you have to keep in mind and you have to link things like this way, okay? Talking about alpha-2 receptors, on the presynaptic side, they act like a break to sympathetic system, okay? And on the al and on the post-synaptic side, uh, they'll act on the blood vessels by the same function, vasoconstriction, and also they are present in brain, right? So, alpha blockers are uh, classified into there's three ways, okay? Non-selective alpha blockers, which means these drugs can act on both the alpha receptors, alpha 1 and as well as alpha 2. And then we have specific alpha 1 blockers and alpha 2 blockers. So in the non-selective alpha blockers, we have phenoxybenzamine, phentolamine and ergotamine. All these three drugs are very important and their clinical uses are also important. Alpha-1 blockers are prazosin, doxazosin, terazosin, and alfuzosin. Alpha-2 blockers, it is yohimbin. This drug have been asked once in MCQs, okay? And questions are often asked from these alpha blockers and beta blockers topics, okay? And we have specifically acting on alpha-1A receptor, which is tamsulosin, okay? This is a drug which specifically acts on alpha-1A. Now, what are the general effects of alpha blockers? Okay, or we can say, ki, what is the function of alpha blockers? So, they will do vasodilatation as I said, right? Sympathetic system works as vasoconstriction by alpha receptors. But our alpha blockers will act opposite to it, which is vasodilatation. Then, uh, decreased tone of smooth muscles in bladder trigon, spincher and prostate. That's why we prescribe alpha blockers for benign hypoplastic prostate, okay, BHP. Then, uh, alpha blockers increases the intestinal motility and it causes meiosis, which is uh, constriction of the pupil, okay and also in the contraction of vas deferens and related organs okay now we'll study the important points and uses about each alpha blockers okay so phenoxybenzamine which was non-selective alpha blocker so it is used to prevent hypertensive episodes during operative manipulation of tumor in pheochromocytoma guys pheochromocytoma is a tumor of adrenal medulla okay so uh, in the treatment of which, for the hypertensive episodes, we use phenoxybenzamine. Phantolamine and tolazoline are preferred agents for the treatment of hypertensive crisis in clonidin withdrawal. Clonidin was which group of drug? Yes, it was sympathomimetic. 
and in the cheese reaction cheese reaction is caused by we have studied with rifampicin if you remember guys right uh cheese reaction occurs with monoamine oxidase inhibiting drugs like rifampicin okay mao inhibitors which we call it so these are the things which you have to keep in mind and all these things are interlinked in pharma right so prazosin terazosin doxazosin and alfuzosin causes decrease in blood pressure with lesser tachycardia than non selective blockers because they are specifically acting on alpha 2 right so selective alpha 1 blockers they increases the hdl which is high density lipoprotein which is good for our heart okay so alpha 1 blockers increases hdl and it decreases the low density lipoprotein and triglycerides which are not good for our heart due to relaxation of smooth muscles in the neck of urinary bladder and prostatic urethra urinary flow is improved by these drugs and that's why they are used in benign hypoplastic prostate and hypertension okay prazosine is useful for scorpion sting guys in uh, this diagram you can see the first image shows the normal prostate whereas the second image shows the enlarged prostate okay in case of benign hypoplastic prostate so uh, because of this condition urine cannot flow from the ureter to urethra so in such situation we give alpha blockers which relaxes the smooth muscles of this urinary bladder i hope it's very clear and you won't forget it right it's enough sticky for your brain now reflex increase in sympathetic discharge and increased sympathetic flow are responsible for marked tachycardia seen with this drug so what what does it says that with the use of uh, alpha blockers there is reflex increase in the sympathetic discharge and this is seen by because of the blockade of alpha 2 receptors so use of these drugs before adrenaline result in vasomotor reversal of del guys this is very important phenomenon and mcq can be asked from it okay so guys as you can see that uh, intravenous injection of adrenaline normally causes increase in the blood pressure okay here you can see blood pressure has increased because of its sympathomimetic action which is vasoconstriction via alpha receptors okay but when we have given alpha agonist okay and then we'll give epinephrine injection then there will be a marked decrease in the blood pressure this is known as vasomotor reversal of del or epinephrine reversal okay agar pehle humne alpha antagonist ya to alpha blocker drug de rakhi hai and uske baad if we are giving epinephrine injections then blood pressure will not increase okay rather it will decrease markedly which is known as vasomotor reversal of del so this is an important phenomenon with epinephrine and alpha antagonist so please understand it nicely okay side effects of alpha blockers what are the side effects so uh, what happens when we give the initial dose of alpha blockers there is initially postural hypotension okay but uh, as the dose increases if it is used continuously tolerance develops to this adverse effect okay then it can also cause marked tachycardia why because of the because of reflex increase in the sympathetic discharge okay which we studied in our last slide and then headache is also the adverse effect decrease in the ejaculation due to decreased vasoconstriction okay and nasal congestion these are the side effects of alpha blockers and vasodilatation is the main action of our alpha blockers because of that such side effects occurs okay so guys this was all about alpha blockers see you in the next episode which is on beta blockers so stay tuned stay fantastic read well don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching